Hi everybody. I haven't been a video for a while because I have not been myself. Been a little bit ill. But I'm I'm feeling a little bit better today and I just have to do a video because I have happy mail. Oh my word. I've been spoiled rotten and I just looked at my email and I even have one more happy mail coming from Diane. So right now First of all, I want to show you this. Cordula, you funny girl. When this come in the mail, and I seen what it was, I said, oh my goodness, it doesn't have a name, but I know it's Cordula. I just know it is. And then, so then, now, just now, I first put my, here it is already, 7.15, and I just now put my computer on today. I've been sleeping, oh my goodness, sleep, and, um, then I opened this up and I said, this is Cordula. I know this is Cordula because I know Cordula. And she sent me three lipsticks. Three lipsticks she sent me. She thinks like I do. I'm not kidding. So many of you think like I do and it's amazing. But um, get the packaging off. So you can see the three colors. Aren't they gorgeous? You see, I think so far this one might be my favorite. I'm not sure. Can I get it open? Or oh, are they sealed even more? Oh, this. Just ginger. Just ginger. It's the name of my friend Tracy's dog. His name is Ginger. Okay, now if I can get this sealer off of here. I need to get it off of here because I need to apply. So I'm into all my fake stuff. Well, it's not really fake. It's real. If you can see it, it's real, you know. But, um, like I have my real hair. This is real. Is it a real hat? Real hair? Yeah. I just love this real hair you can get. So that if your own real hair isn't doing much... Then you just, these ones that's hooked to a hat, you just put the hat on like you'd put a hat, and there you go. And you're all fi fixed up. Thank you all for um, those of you who are coming back that are my friends already. And then if you're new here, if this is your first time coming, I welcome you with open arms. And um, I hope you don't think I'm like losing my mind. Mm, I might be. I don't know. Whatever. Wait a minute. I gotta get my mirror here. Oh, yeah. My goodness. I sure do need concealer, don't I? But I didn't put any makeup on today. I only turned on my computer. So now, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Lately, I've been I've been sick lately. And I don't usually get sick, even though I have some... Um, thank you, Cordula. You are a mess, but I love you just like you are. Okay, now, I've been sick. I've been, the shingles, I think, are healing up. I think I might be close to being over the shingles. But then I caught some, I've had a pneumonia shot, and I had a flu shot. But I have something that is almost feels like pneumonia or the flu or something. Not really, though, because I'm not throwing up. I don't have diarrhea. It's just, I got so much phlegm. Oh, isn't that a gross word, phlegm? But, um, and it's just horrible. Just coughing and coughing and coughing. And, but I'm feeling better today now. I'm not like a hundred percent, but I'm close to a hundred percent. Oh, I just keep moving right on, moving right on down the road. But if you're here for the first time new, I do have a, like a real channel, but um, you never know what I'm going to do. I'm unprofessional, and that's the way I'm going to stay, apparently. Um... Now this here bat this here package is from my friend Mary. 
Mary is a friend of mine that lives only, gosh, she's only about 15 miles from me, but I've never had the privilege of meeting her yet, although we chat on the telephone whenever I do answer my phone. And she has said, like she said here, I've called you several times and left a message. Enclosed in this box is a bunch of stuff. I was cleaning out my sewing room and fixed up a box of stuff. I hope you will enjoy. She says, I wish I could sit at my machine like you do. My back starts to hurt and I'm done. I, f I fell in the house two times. One time I bruised my knee. Next time I fell in the hall, hurt my left elbow, and I had a big knot on my heel. Now, on my head. <clears throat> now, Miss Mary, well, she's 83 years old. Bless her heart. But if you was ever to talk to her, you'd think she was much younger than 83. But if you all say prayers, just say a little prayer for Mary. Mary Ann, she doesn't live far from here. She's just so sweet. And um, but she just sent me this bag. Full. Now here, look at that. That is yellow flowers. They're like fabric flowers. I think, and there's like all different well, I can't tell if those are like a paper or a fabric, but they're like a paper. We'll just call them paper fabric. But I like these, and these things I would use in a slow stitch project. I would use them in slow stitching, and there's so many. And I can even probably put a few in the in the um, bags that I'm working on. And look at here, this flower. This one would be pretty putting on a hair clip. So I can wear it in my hair, in my real hair up here. I like that. I've done that with a few flowers before. Just put them on the hair clip. And, and look at this. These floral garland. And she's got, oh, there's three packages of these here. Now, just the other day, I got a happy mail. And it had some of, oh, this is a garland. It had, yes, it had something like this in it. And I thought she had made it, because it was one flower and one leaf. And I thought maybe she made it. But here I see it's a garland. But using it as a piece at a time is awesome. And now that I have all of these, Ah, and they're felt. They're made out of felt. So, and I've been using a lot of felt lately in, in my, um, in my projects. And this is a lot of them. That will keep me, keep, that'll keep me, um, busy. Yeah, they're all garlic. Okay, that'll keep me busy for a long while. Okay, now here... Here is the cutest little bag ever. Look at that little, I saved that gift bag and re-gift something in there. I could that do that for sure. Love these little, um, little doilies. Especially now that I'm making my little dolls with the corks. I, if you've seen, no, well, I don't have them here right Jennifer was over here clearing off my area for me. I don't know where she put anything. But, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. But, um, I use these little doilies on them dollies. And now look at, I have a whole bunch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One red one. The, and those are going to be used on them little dollies for sure. So this is stuff that I will use. And in here is... Oh, would you look at that. In here is um, these little bags. These little plastic bags. Which is awesome because I use these bags when I put together my kits. 
and I put together items to go in the kits. I used those little bags. And here is some trim and some sequins. And I'll probably put some of them in my bags too. Because when I get so much of something, it's not, I won't use it. I'm 74 years old. I probably won't use it all. Oh. Oh, look at this. Think snow. Oh, and this is already made into a pin. So that can go on my handbag, on my purse. I've been collecting pins on my purse. Oh, it's way up there. Oh, those are cute. With them little snowmen on there and think snow. We don't think snow too much here in Florida. And, um, but, okay, now, oh, what's this? Oh, buttons. These are, she sent me a bunch of buttons once before. And then, now, more buttons. You know, I don't think one can have too many buttons ever. And these here buttons really do look vintage. I love the vintagey looking buttons like this because then when you're putting them on something that you just, and I like vintage looking things, period. And um, they don't have to be vintage, but I make things vintage looking. And, and um, having real vintage buttons, that button says handmade on it. It's just, it's just fun. Okay, now, so that adds to my button collection. And then down in the rest of this box is more corks. And we use these corks a lot. We like these corks. So there's corks in there. And here's some, like, these are like, these are like big they're like big popsicle sticks. I think you see these in a doctor's office, like a tongue depressor or something. And these ones are big too, but not as big as the big ones. Of course, the smaller ones aren't as big as the big ones. And we will use these. We will use these. I mean to tell you. I And here's some... These are like little dowels, almost like a popsicle stick, but they're bigger than a popsicle stick. Oh, so this is stuff, stuff on steroids. This is awesome. And so I'm glad to have more, more um, of the, <clears throat> glad to have more of the corks, of the corks. So let me put this back in here. I want to try and go quickly because you know, I know time is valuable for you guys. And you got things to do, places to go, people to see. Now, let me just put this here. Now in here, it's another bag full of stuff. She has all this stuff stuffed in there. Now what is this? Fray check. Oh, I've heard of this before. Prevents fabrics from fraying and secures thread ends. I've heard of this before, and that's made by the Dritz Company, but I've never tried that. I got a feeling I'm going to like this. I am really thinking I'm going to like this. And look at here. <clears throat> I have, on my little dolls that I'm making with the corks, each one of them takes an entire skein of... Um, floss and um so each each one takes an entire skein so look at all of this floss that will make a lot of my baby dolls of the the ones that i make with this kind of hair the um <clears throat> i don't have one right here to show you but if you're new to my channel you'd have to look at you know just the last few um the last few um, oh God, grief videos because I made the little ones with the corks. I make a sock doll too, but those I use um yarn with for the hair. But the cork dolls I use this floss, and I use a whole skein to make 
Okay, so that is perfect. Thank you so much, Mary. And then here, look at this. Now, I think the rest of this is like scrap fabrics. But look at this one. How pretty is that? It's got like embroidery along in it. And I'm looking at that, and I'm wondering how that would look gathered up like a little skirt or a little dress on one of my cork dolls and then the little the little doily going on top of that I think that see how that looks with that little doily and this I think this right here is going to be a dress for one of the little cork dolls for sure I'm going to pin them together right there now, in here, I think this might be all little scraps. And it is. It, oh my word. Look at them all. This is something I love. This, like little scraps like this. I mean, you can't have too many. And there's some people that might throw this kind of stuff away. But not, not a lot of us. Because these little scraps like this, oh, and there's so many different colors. When you look in here and you see all the colors, it's just amazing. Oh, here she was making something. Oh, you know what? I think this makes one of those things. I'm going to make something out of that. I am going to make something out of that. Look at this. They smell good too. Your house must smell really good. Your house must smell really good. Oh, and then here we go with some buttons. These are the butterfly wooden buttons. I like those wooden. You can get them wooden buttons for like, like inexpensively and you can get so many different things with the wooden buttons and look at that how pretty and there's a couple dozen of those butterflies in here of all different colors oh my gosh this is a gift that keeps on giving and look at all these colors are ama ama amazing they're just amazing and see and and I look at these cut pieces and they're bright and they're wonderful and it's like all the fabrics that I already have but I don't have these same fabrics. Look at these with the dragonflies. I love it. Okay, I'm going to look through them a little closer, a little later. But I have more things to accomplish. More things to accomplish because i got a big box over here from Cassie. So I'm going to put this in here. Miss Cassie sent a box. I'm telling you, am I spoiled or am I lucky or am I blessed I'm not sure which one it is but it's probably all three of those things pushed into one and I'm not gonna argue so you guys just stay right there okay now <clears throat> then I have this box I opened the top of this box wait a minute I gotta I know one thing's for sure right at this moment is I have to get me a, I gotta reach down here with my reacher. Gotta get my reaching stick right here. And I know before I even start that I need a plastic bag right here. Because I opened this box already. I don't know what's in it other than. <laughs> what she put in the box for filler is this stuffing. I saw that and I said, oh my gosh. And my little doll, my sock dolls that I make, I use this. Okay, so I'm gonna stuff, <clears throat> I'm gonna stuff that in here. I'm stuffing it in here. I'm stuffing, I'm stuffing the stuffing. So we'll get that stuff in. That stuff. I really like this lipstick. I think that lipstick looks pretty cool. You know, I used the Wet n Wild lipstick when I was younger, and I, when I was younger, 
even yesterday I was younger. But I, um, I liked it because it stayed on for so long. Some lipsticks that you get are like real creamy and they don't stay on long before you got to reapply. Look at all this stuffing. Cassie girl, you know what I like. And this stuffing. And I like this kind of stuffing because it stuffs so evenly. It stuffs evenly. Oh. I'm excited. Okay, so now we got that all in that bag. I gotta zip the bag shut so my stuffing doesn't escape. I have a pillow <clears throat> that I'm taking stuffing out of right now that I'm using for stuffing. But one day my little doggie got in there. I got a little um, Jack Russell Terrier. She got in there and got herself inside that pillow. And she um, raked all that stuffing out onto the floor. She just kept raking it out. So I went in there and I went in there and I said, I'll stuff it in the floor. And I said, oh my word. And then the pillow moved. When it moved, it was my dog. Now look at all that stuffing I have. <clears throat> this is like gold. Thank you, Cassie. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I got the right name here. Yep, it's pa Cassie from up there in Iowa. Now, let's see. Oh, my word. This. Wait a minute. Let me just put this right here. Sort of like right here. Sort of like right here. Well, kind of like right there. On my pocketbook, I've got two dragonflies on my pocketbook. They're different than this one. Look at this. This is a pin or a brooch, whatever you want to call them. And this one looks handmade. This one is handmade with beads, sequins, and felt. Somebody made this. Cassie, did you make this? This is handmade, this dragonfly. And it is beautiful. That is, it's going on in my pocketbook, too. I think I've got something like 35 pins on there. <clears throat> I will take that. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I cannot let my child, I cannot let my, my son see these. Because he would take them. A little thief. These. Oh, I'm trying to think now. Did is this Harry Potter? This is Harry Potter. Oh my! It is Harry Potter. Oh, you guys can't see these. Here, take a look. See down here. Harry Potter. These are all from Harry Potter. Oh my gosh. I wonder, one of his bathrooms, the bathroom there, it, that's in their bedroom, they've got that whole thing decorated for Harry Potter. One day I should take you a tour of that bathroom. <laughs> oh, my word. Look at these. He's going to love these, and... The way I am, I'll say, okay, you can put them in your bathroom, but you got to remember that they're mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for each day of the week. Oh, my word. If Aria was here right now, she'd be going berserk looking at these things. These are gorgeous. Oh, my word. They went to the trampoline park this evening. Took the girls to trampoline. Okay, now, this is heavy. Oh, there's a note. It comes with a note. Let's see. This is handmade, cold process lye soap made by myself. 
I previously owned my own small bath and body business. I had to close down at the beginning of the year. I hope you enjoy a few of my favorite bars. The purple soap has a real amethyst crystal on the top. Oh my word. She had her own business. Oh my word. My um oldest son and his wife, they have a little business where they make little soaps but they haven't got to where they sell it yet they oh, oh my gosh Cassie <clears throat> this is chocolate ganache and it's got all the ingredients olive oil coconut oil Lard, distilled water, and so sunflower oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, fragrance. Huh. Oh, my word. This is amazing. You probably should open your store again. This is amethyst for purification. Violet branch sopatory. That must have been the name of your soap. Violet branch sopatory. Handmade artesian soap. Oh my. This is beautiful. Look at that, you all. I don't know now, is she? And look at, at the top, an amethyst stone. Oh my gosh, does it smell good. <coughs> <coughs> I might just cut a little. <coughs> Maybe I don't need to sniff it yet till I get a little bit better. Oh my word. And then this one, fairy tale rose. Oh, my word. And look at the top. It looks like a rose. Cassie, do you still sell this at all? I know you said you used to. I don't know if you do still. This is... Mong Magnolia, Magnolia Leaf and Tonka. Look at the gold in there. Oh, my word. This is beyond amazing. For external use only, just so you know, you can't eat it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Cassie. This is just beyond believable even. This is beautiful. Oh my word, is that wonderful. Handmade. Cold process life soap made by myself. So she had a bath and body business. So she had to close down at the beginning of the year. So hopefully, maybe she still has more and would be willing to sell. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Now, uh-oh, here's something wrapped in fabric. I need to have this little piece of rope. Me and Aria, we've been painting little paintbrushes. We weren't painting paintbrushes. We've been painting, I wonder if hers is still in here. Oh yeah, see birdhouses. This one's Aria's, she's not done with it yet. 
but she still wants to get another bird glued onto the onto here and one here. There's still some more stuff, but I said we need little pieces of rope to go on the tops like this, so then we can hang them out on the front porch with our bird ch with our wind chimes. But see, so even these little pieces of rope are needed right at this time. Once we finish up our birdhouses, they're not quite finished yet. We got, see, she's put dragonflies up there and flowers. Look how she painted. I love how she painted the roof. My one I did is all boring and my roof is just all solid red. But she thinks, she thinks deeper than I do. So anyway, oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, <clears throat> look at this dolly. Oh, my word. This is like a, a flower. And she used the flower to make this little dolly. Wow. This with the, the wooden bead. And I have wooden beads, and then now I have even the wooden beads with a face already on them, and little flowers in her hair. And look at how she even made a hairdo out of the, um, um, the embroidery floss. That's beautiful. Then looks like she's got wire. And then she wrapped, like she made the skeleton, whatever you call that word, out of the wire. And then all of the wire is wrapped, I think with the embroidery floss, I would guess. And then she's got the embroidery floss here that matches the color of the flower of the rose. Now I've got the addition to my little family. She's beautiful. I'm going to figure this one out. I'm going to figure her out. And I'm going to make me some. I'm going to make me some Cassie dolls. Okay, and now. Oh, what's this? Oh, here's a couple of sheets of paper. A few sheets of paper with unicorns. Black and silver. That's gorgeously beautiful. And then. Oh. Oh. And here's a card. I'm supposed to open the card for her. Look at there. She's even closed it up with a wax seal. So then. And then the stickers on the front. So this will have to go in my journal. I hope this little happy mail finds you well. I have a few handmade items included. The dragonfly pin, the flower fairy doll, and the hand and body soap are all made by me. So, yes, she did make that pin. Oh, I figured she did when I saw it. <clears throat> and that is just beautiful. I don't know if you can see how well you can see how it glitters because it's it's a felt backing, and then she stitched on the beads and the sequins. And it just sparkles. It's beautiful. It's going to go on my hand. <clears throat> there is a YouTube channel that details how I make the little flower dolls. Her channel name is Emily Lefter. Oh, I'll look. The channel name for the beaded beetle brooch... The beaded is the closet historian. Oh, that might be this one. It's not a beetle, though. It's a dragonfly. There's a few more items I thought you would enjoy. The little Harry Potter, Potter Funko Pops. Oh, they're for Aria. Okay, her dad will end up. Aria is going to go. If, if Aria was sitting here when I opened these up, she would have went bananas. <clears throat> so these are for Aria. She is going to have an absolute cow. And then her, um, well, she's not going to have a cow, but. <clears throat> and 
And now I'm, I'm curious to see what her father does to try and get them from her. Um, those are for Arya. I have so enjoyed watching your channel for several years now. You remind me so much of my stepmom, Bobby. We lost her to cancer in January of 2024. So sorry for that. She was a crafty gal just like yourself. Funny, witty, kind, loving, and just an overall good person that you enjoyed to have around. You are such a good company. Lizzie, I, I can't find the words to express how much joy you bring to me. I feel like you are a part of my family. It is so sweet to see how much Papa loves you, and your little granddaughters are such a blessing to watch. Thank you from the depths of my soul for your authenticity. Much love, Cassie. Crafty edition number 319. Oh, my goodness. Those kind words, they're amazing. Them kind words. Thank you so much. But she made this. I'm amazed. She made the soap. She made the doll. She made this dragonfly. When I see this, though, I can see how you could make. Because <clears throat> I'm, you know, so much. I'm using felt so much lately that um, I want to do the same thing. And maybe I'll make a purple one. Or maybe you just don't know what color I might make. But this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. And I know I could do that. <clears throat> so she must have first sewn the beads and stuff onto one layer of the felt. And then because see, you don't see the stitching back here except for the outside edges. So she must then sew the two pieces together and then attach well she would probably attach the f the body thorax whatever first and then sew this on the back with a pin that is I'm just I'm just impressed so oh and then the piece of fabric look at the piece of fabric now, I love this kind of fabric that has got the little squares in there because you can cut those little squares out and there is so much you can do with the, the squares. Having them as a focal point on, um, as a focal point on an art project you're doing. And I love my cats. My cat, I don't know where she is right now. My cat, Petunia. We have blue jays around our house, and um, <clears throat> and the blue jays attacked my cat, and there was a dead blue jay in the mix somehow. I don't know if Petunia might have killed a blue jay and then the rest of the blue jays attacked her but she was in pretty poor condition but she ran my son tried to get her my son saw her today my son saw her but she ran and so she must be out just trying to heal herself. We can't catch her. <clears throat> but if we do catch her, we'll bring her to the vet, of course. But maybe if we had one of those cages. But I doubt if she'd go into the cage. I, I don't know. We're hoping that she's going to just be okay and show up. I. That's my petunia. But I love my cat. But she's an indoor-outdoor cat. We've got a doggy door that she comes in and out of. And Oh, wait a minute. There's something else in here. So, <clears throat> I'm 
Oh no! Oh my! This is adapted from the Stife Strong Muses Mu Museum Bride and Groom Bears. Oh my word. I have collected teddy bears since I can't remember when. I have one Stife bear. One that's a Stife. My daughter bought her for me for my birthday. Oh gosh, it's been about 20 years ago. And at that time, she shouldn't have, but she gave $300 for that Stife teddy bear. It's got the little, the Stife bears have this little um, tag in their ear that says Stife on there, and it's put in like with a little rivet. <clears throat> and my Stife bear isn't even one of the fanciest ones. Enclosed is one nine-inch teddy bear doll, six colored outfits, six black and white outfits to be colored. Authentic clothing designs are adapted from the Strong Museum collection. Oh, look at this. So then these are, these are his clothes. Oh, how fun. I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to cut these out and dress him up, and I'll do a photo shoot. Oh, my word. Look at these clo the clothing. It's in, one, it's in my Happy Mail, honey, from Cassie. Oh, my gosh. And then here's clothes that can be colored. Oh, I just love these. And in fact, this one, I think these, we could make copies of these, of course, just for ourselves. But I could make copies because a lot of these little things would be fun little things to have even in, even in a, uh, junk journal or any kind of an art journal oh my goodness sakes huh. they're so cute we could even like trace the bear and make pictures make more bears color the bear ourselves and add the clothing there's so much we can make it last forever Here's a Stife history. Marguerite Stife was born in Genzen, Germany in 1847. She was stricken with polio at the age of two, leaving her legs paralyzed and her right hand weakened as well. Fortunately, this young girl had a massive, I mean a positive spirit and exceptional willpower. Wanting to be independent, and able to earn her living, Marguerite decided to learn to sew. In 1880, while looking at a picture representing an elephant, Marguerite had a flash of inspiration that would change her life thoroughly. She set to work choosing the best wool felt manufactured in Gingen Gingen, I'm not sure how that said, to create a small wooden woolen elephant. The idea met with great success and soon other animals were leaving Marguerite's workshop. Marguerite's business grew and soon had the participation of several family members. Richard Steiff, Margaret's nephew, had a great interest in animals, and in particular, bears. He and his aunt collaborated and brought forth a new toy pet bear. It was made of hoary mo mohair 
and had a movable head, legs, and arms. Through a chain of events, the bears landed in New York and, and were next seen adorning the table of President Theodore Roosevelt's daughter on her wedding day. The president, who nicknamed, whose nickname was Teddy, was enthusiastic about stiff bears, and someone in the assembly spoke of Teddy of teddy bears. Journalists wrote about them. The story went round and round, and thus the teddy bear boom was started. This was the beginning of bear years for the renowned Stife Company. The designing and painting of the teddy bear paper dolls has been delight has been a delightful experience for us. We hope you will enjoy This addition, addition to your collection. Oh, my word. <clears throat> oh, my word. That, thank you for these. This is amazing. And then this is just the bottom of the box. I bet, I guess. Yeah. Oh, my word. This is amazing. And it's amazing that I've talked this long and haven't coughed much. I think I am finally getting better. These last couple of days, I was polishing the golden gates, I thought. <clears throat> but I'm just looking on this to see if there's a, a year, a copyright year. I don't see one, but... This is amazing. This soap smells amazing. And, ooh. Ooh. Now my fingers just wanted to just... Oh, my fingers just want to go bending wherever they want to bend. Oh, that feels weird. Aria is going to have... She is going to so love these. <clears throat> Harry Potter doohickeys. I loved them at the beginning. And I knew they was if they were mine, they weren't going to stay in my hands very long because I know my family. This is great. Well, I, you know, I thank you all for all of the blessings you have sent. I have gotten so many emails and messages concerned about my health. Why haven't I been on videos and stuff? This finger just wants to go somewhere. And um, that just, you know, that just makes me feel good. It just... And I've got three things going on with my lungs. I've got the um, COPD, I got emphysema, and I've got um, the asthma. And I gotta, I gotta fight them things constantly. Me and them are at war, and I plan to win. I plan to win that war. And so, but my daughter fixed me a. My daughter come a couple days ago, and she. She goes, this is how I want you to take this medicine. Because, I, well, I have my um, albuterol nebulizer breathing treatment. And I don't take it as often as I should. And she wrote it on a piece of paper. Okay, you're going to do this every four hours. You're going to use two vials at this time. And at this time, one. And the next time, two vials. And every four hours. And she goes, and then write it down so when I come here tomorrow I can look. That's my job. And then I have this spray for the throat and then this liquid um, medicine. But I knew because I had my shot for the pneumonia shot. I've had pneumonia twice. <clears throat> and both times I ended up in the hospital. And boy, I do not want that hospital. So many people have said, once you're old and you go to the hospital, what they think? Well, what the heck? She ain't got much time anyway. Let's just let her lay there. Well, they don't really think that. I shouldn't say that, but I don't want to go to the hospital. And so, but my daughter said, if you don't show some signs of improvement, I think she said by Thursday, then you are going. Then you're going. That means you need more help. But now, since she said that two days ago, and she was here today and checked my paper to make sure, and um, I do feel better. I couldn't talk yesterday. If I tried to say one word, coughing would come out. Only coughing. 
and I was dizzy and I it was horrible and I'm feeling so much better now and that's because well I guess I have to give my daughter some kudos for being uh, being whatever being a pain in my butt I love her and she's not really paying my boat. But um, but for all of y'all's prayers, because these messages that finger just wants to twist. <clears throat> the messages and the emails that I've gotten, there and I haven't answered. I've seen them and then I haven't well I've answered a few, but not all of them. And I need to answer them. And I got behind on my my um on my um mailings for my my um my uh, I think my brain is fried I've gotten behind in my mailings of my um slow stitch kits but it um delayed is not denied they will still happen and so and I love my new hair right here now see I just put that it's a hat you just put, I got two of these different kind of hats. You just put the hat on, the hair's all glued on it. It looks like it's my real hair, doesn't it? it? Makes me look all bouncy and young. If you don't look at the gray right here, that's showing. But hey, we don't care about that. Just don't look at that part. No, it makes me look all young from here up. Okay, thank you guys for watching and helping me go through my, through my, um, oh my goodies. From Mary, I'm telling you, Mary, I can't, and Mary has, she has sent me a few packages over the years, and um, with these beautiful things, and I think there's always buttons, there's always buttons in it, she's always has buttons, and the corks that you sent, they're definitely going to be used, so many things in there, the, the scrap fabrics, I love those. Because I got my little box down here of scrap, little scraps in. And I think I'm going to get get them all put together. Oh, here's my box. I keep my little tiny scraps in. Because I had just put some denim. But see, I keep all my little scraps in this box. And then I, um, and I pull from this box when I'm... <coughs> my cue that I've been here long enough and since I read that about the stife that's my reading I'm gonna let you all go ask God to watch over you every step you take every move you make keep you healthy and happy and humble and safe and secure and <coughs> it's time for me to go on a coughing spell love you all God bless